is President Biden incentivizing illegal immigrants to come into the United States? Well, many people believe that is exactly what he's doing because there is now a new plan for the Biden administration to allow insurance for more than 100,000 migrants. I want to break down what's going on at this time, but how many people are saying that this is only going to incentivize people coming across the United States from other countries, not just from Mexico, but from countries all around the world. So I'll break down what's going on, what this means for you and I moving forward, and why many people are furious about what just went down. So I'll break all that down in just a moment. All I ask is one thing, takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So by now you have probably heard of what President Biden is doing, but look at this. It says Joe Biden expands health insurance coverage for 100,000 migrants. That was just announced the other day. But what's so important about what is going on is many experts believe this is only going to incentivize more illegal immigration. And not just from people that are living in Mexico, but people from Venezuela, from Guatemala, from Brazil, from Turkey, from China, all over the world. But look at this, okay? This continues to happen. And some people say it's just a ploy for President Biden to get more Latino votes for this upcoming election. The White House is expanding health care access to DACA recipients under the Affordable Care Act. That's what's happening. That's the start for DACA recipients. Now, do some of these people absolutely need insurance? Yeah, of course, everybody should have insurance. But why many, why millions of Americans are furious is because DACA recipients are about to receive something that they haven't been privy to over the over the past you know handful of years. Okay, Obamacare has only been for certain groups of people, and those that DACA group has been excluded. But now more than 100,000 people could receive this benefit in the near future. In a new federal regulation, the administration is modifying the definition of lawfully present. So DACA residents can get access to certain health care coverage. The big news here is isn't that the Biden administration went and passed the new bill? No, they're modifying what is considered legally here. Okay. The legally present, that's the big change. That's the big worry. And it's not because we are allowing DACA recipients to come and get Obamacare, okay, through the Affordable Care Act. No, the big issue and why millions of people are furious is because when something doesn't work out for the Biden administration, they don't go and talk to Congress and try to fix things. They go and change the policy. They change the verbiage. They just change it. You may remember back when we were worried about a recession here in the U.S. And the Biden administration says, oh, no, 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 don't worry. We are not in a recession because they changed the definition of a recession. That's essentially what they're doing now. Because right now with more than 100,000 dreamers expected to sign up for Obamacare under this new rule, well, some are worried that's going to take away from their own benefits. Like we are going to lose our benefits because now we have to uh, pretty much ration what we have and give it to those 100,000 DACA members. Again, could this be an issue? Possibly, but we won't know until it actually happens. I want to read you something though. It says roughly 100,000 immigrants who were brought to the U.S. as children are expected to roll in the Affordable Care Act's health insurance next year under new directive the Biden administration released on Friday. It says the move took longer than promised to finalize and fell short of President Biden's initial proposal to allow those migrants to sign up for Medicaid. This is a big one. So it would allow them to sign up for Medicaid as well, but that's not gonna happen. Okay, that's where it actually, uh, where, and again, if you're not sure exactly what Medicaid is, Medicaid is pretty much the, the free option of health insurance. Let's keep reading this. It says the, oh, sign up for, for Medicaid, the health insurance program that provides nearly free coverage for the nation's poorest people. 
Okay, but it will allow thousands of migrants to access lucrative tax breaks when they sign up for coverage after the Affordable Care Act's marketplace enrollment opens on November 1st, just days ahead of the presidential election. That's pretty big. And the reason why that's such a big deal is because of the date. It opens on November 1st. The election happens on November 5th. Coincidence? Well, maybe, maybe not. It says, while it may help the president boost his appeal at a crucial time among Latinos, a crucial voting block he needs to turn out to win the election, the move is certain to prompt more criticism among conservatives about the president's border and migrant policies. I think we can all agree the border situation, first off, it nobody took care of it. President Biden uh, pretty much put Kamala Harris, the vice president, in charge of the U.S. border. She failed. She absolutely failed at that. But the reason why I bring all this up is because people have been asking, are, are we going to get additional help? We're struggling. We're, we can't afford to put food on the table. Well, if you don't have SNAP benefits, go and sign up for it. It's, it's a program that we have here in the United States that helps low-income families uh, you know, and, and even individuals go and afford food through the SNAP program. Okay, so there's one. The other one we offer, there's a, uh, you know, child care. Okay, there's for women uh, that are pregnant or uh, that just had a baby. There's a program called WIC, right? But the big one is insurance. Some people can't afford health insurance. They can't afford to go to the doctor. They can't afford to get sick because they can't afford to go to the doctor and they can't take a day off of work. But now... We're potentially going to open this up to immigrants, to more than 100,000 uh, DACA recipients. Okay, I want to show you this. This is from Fox News. It says Biden plan to extend Obamacare eligibility to illegal immigrants gets pushed back in Congress. It says madness. Now, I want to read you a quote. Okay, and here's the quote right here. It says, Joe Biden, border czar Kamala Harris, and impeached DHS Secretary Mayorkas flung our borders wide open, caused an invasion of our country by illegal aliens, and prioritized giving taxpayer benefits to illegal aliens over American citizens. I want to touch on that really quick. This person says that they, they prioritize giving our benefits to our taxpayer benefits to illegal aliens over American citizens. We've seen a lot of that, where you know cities have had to cut funding to the, their police force, their emergency responders, to schools, to public parks, okay, to just their roads in general. We have seen them cut funding there. We've seen certain cities and counties increase the amount of tickets, okay. So instead of let's say a hundred dollars for a speeding ticket, now it's like a hundred and thirty-five bucks because they have to increase revenue. That's happening. So we're seeing that. We're also seeing some cities are opting to close their, their public you know, libraries, uh, public uh, you know, recreation centers. They're closing them early in order, especially on weekends, which is a big deal. But if you close a recreation center, let's say on Friday at you know, 4 p.m., right? You, they're, they're just closed. And now they start bringing in illegal immigrants from Friday at 5 p.m. And then you have to be out, let's say, uh, you know, Monday morning at you know 6 a.m., 7 a.m. That's your window. Before it was open to the public. Now, no, it's closed. You have to be a migrant in order to attend, in order to be there and stay. Interesting. I want to read you one last thing. It says, this rule to give taxpayers subsidized health care to 100,000 illegal aliens is yet another example of this administration putting America last and actively incentivizing illegal immigration. Now, somebody brought this question up. Okay, we are going to use, you know, taxpayer dollars to fund, uh, you know, insurance for 100,000 illegal aliens. What they brought up was, why couldn't we have used that exact same money Instead of giving it to 100,000 DACA recipients, how come we couldn't have used that money 
to subsidize the program even further and bring costs down for the millions of people that are on Obamacare? I don't know. I haven't received an answer on that. I've been looking, but I'm not sure why we can't do that. So let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think this is a good move? Do you think this is just going to incentivize more people to come across the border illegally? Or what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below, but I thought this was very interesting and this is coming at a very interesting time. So let me know down in the comment section below, but as always, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.